Okay, everyone, for our sake of respecting your time, we're going to go ahead and start. Um, good morning, good afternoon, wherever you are today. And I want to welcome you. Thank you so much for joining us. Um, this I'm Ashton Dragon. I'm from Catalyst Campus. And we are hosting a new series called, uh, or that focuses on Platform One and um, this education piece. And we hope you um, can join us for future ones. But today is what is uh, the Platform One reseller? And Joey Aurora is gonna be sharing today. Joey is currently the Chief Scaling Officer working to streamline and scale operations for Platform One, which is designed to get commercial software authorization for the for use on DOD systems in days and, and weeks instead of months and years. So I'm gonna go ahead and hand it over to Joey. He's gonna screen share. And, um, and if you have any questions, please drop them in the Q&A feature. Otherwise, you're welcome to use the chat, but we are monitoring the Q&A specifically for questions. So feel free to join, um, add those in there. Thank you so much. Take it away, Joey. Thanks, Ashton. Good morning, everyone. Uh, thanks for taking the time to be here today. Uh, wanted to share all the amazing stuff we've been doing with the Platform One reseller effort. I, everyone should be able to see my screen now. Uh, I'm also going to give a little a quick overview of uh, Platform One and the different pieces and tools that we uh, with a focus being on the reseller portion. If you want to learn more about Platform One and all of those pieces, our deputy Dong did a great uh, webinar last week, and it's a uh, the recording is posted and you can find that as well. Uh, so goal here today is I'm going to provide that overview and then dive into sort of what are the options for our potential customers of the reseller process. And so our whole goal is to share that information. Uh, feel free to jump into the Q&A uh, with any questions that you have or feel free to reach out to us afterwards as well. Uh, so a little bit about uh, Platform One. Our whole focus and as an organization is to accelerate the development of uh, DevSecOps factories across the government space, right? We want to empower other people that are standing up software factories with the tools necessary to uh, go down that pathway, to set up their platform and to take the mission applications that they're using and have it on the right tool set per se, right? So we believe that we can speed up the DevSecOps movement and process by providing the different components that are necessary to build out their platform. And so we have four main product lines. Uh, we have CNAP, which is our cloud native access point. The whole goal of that tool set is to connect users. It's like doing a lot of that identity management pieces. Uh, we have Iron Bank, uh, which is to store all of the containers. We have a repository of hardened images. Uh, we have Big Bank, uh, which is meant to build and deploy platforms as our infrastructure as code layer. And then we have our party bus environment, which puts all of that stuff together and operationalizes it. Um, our whole focus with the reseller effort is on Big Bang and our bank and CNAP, right? We wanna make this available to other organizations. Platform One as a government organization has realized that right, we're not gonna ever scale to people. Our goal is to continue building that core technology and making that available for other organizations to pick up. We believe in sort of that shared uh, vision that, hey, we're going to provide this platform layer right here and organizations that have a mission can take that, build their own environment and build applications on top of that. So by the numbers, um, so we've had people across the entire joint spectrum use this platform. Uh, we've had all of the services are using platform one in one way, shape or form. Uh, we've been a part of the Afghan evacuation mission, uh, tools that have been built or used on Platform One were used as part of that operation. Uh, we've been used in space operations, army operations, and we've been used in federal labs uh, on aircraft as well. And so our whole goal is to provide a platform that other organizations can build on top of and speed up that development process. Uh, so our, we're growing, we're changing. There are thousands of users across the Air Force uh, Army, Navy, uh, we have deployed the platform today already to multiple different organizations. And our whole goal is to make this available to more and more organizations. And that's what we're gonna talk about with the resellers. A little bit about the, the platform, just so you know, we, you know, as part of the DevSecOps movement, we have collaboration tools, do build testing, uh, we have security monitoring. And as part of that, right, with the Big Bang stack uh, provides a lot of different tool sets to enable people to do this. And this gets complex uh, because there's a lot of different moving pieces in here to stand up your own DevSecOps environment. 
And in order to help organizations deploy this, instead of those organizations coming to us, we've identified six companies that any of those organizations can go to to deploy a tool set like this. Uh, so the way that this works is that we've created uh, platform one here, right? We've created the tool set of Big Bang and Iron Bank. Uh, we've identified six companies. Uh, those are Booz Allen Hamilton, BrainGoo, ECS, uh, Accenture, uh, formerly known as Novetta, uh, Revicom, and Seed Innovations as the six companies that we've validated and proven that hey, they know how to deploy these tool sets. They can go in and help deploy that for government software factories or commercial software factories. And our whole goal there is that they are the uh, going out, uh, they're going to help those government organizations stand up a big bang environment uh, or stand up, you know, get access to Iron Bank, stand up CNAP as part of their process so that those organizations have their own software environment to work off of. Uh, it's going to likely be built on top of AWS, GovCloud, uh, Azure Federal, or Cloud One environment uh, for the Air Force side. And the goal is for these companies to come in and help your government organization or commercial organization set up that commercial software, set up that software factory with a focus on, hey, you're going to use the tool sets that Platform One has already created, speed up your deployment time, speed up your pathway to ATO uh, as leveraging a lot of the compliance and tool sets that Platform One has in place, increase the efficiency of your team being able to deploy this as a lot of these contractors have worked with Platform One before have been a part of that development process. They're intimately familiar with the deployment of these tools and your organization is gonna have the ability to build your own DevSecOps environment so that you can go out and build your own mission applications on top of that. Big Bang is gonna provide sort of a core foundation uh, that your mission set, you might need to tweak or modify, do something a little bit differently. And the advantage of you owning that DevSecOps environment all the way from staging to production allows you to control, hey, what unique things does your mission set have, right? So if you're a Space Force mission and you want to connect and pull in commercials uh, imagery or commercial data, how do you build those pipelines in a way that you can get everything connected, allow those out, outside connections? Uh, if you're deploying on the edge, uh, we've been able to deploy Big Bang to a, a pod on an aircraft. And so how do we make sure that you can go offline uh, and work on edge systems as well? And so our whole focus with this is that we've identified these six resellers who are gonna take the technology that Platform One has created, make it available to uh, government entities, commercial entities to stand up their own software factories. And the focus on that is this allows you working with the reseller, allows us to continue reinvesting into the core technologies th that are here uh, through a joint investment process. Um, our whole focus is uh, enabling the DevSecOps movement, and we've recognized that we have six companies we want to help facilitate down that process. Uh, and part of that, right, is making, hey, the, the Big Bang core available to organizations. Uh, we want to focus on, hey, you can take Big Bang core, you can do the security, the monitoring, uh, you can get your identity management pieces done with CNAP. Then as your organization wants to build out different tool sets on top of that, we have add-ons that are available, whether it's collaboration tools or developer tools. And then there's an opportunity to look at, hey, what are the third-party add-ons we have? Uh, is there something you want to bring in that might be of specific interest to you uh, for your environment? As we mentioned in the space uh, force example, right? If they're bringing commercial imagery, how do we pull in that, ingest that information into our environment? Um, and then you have your, your application layer on top of that. What are the customer requirements and pieces that we want to build uh, so that you have an environment that your, your team is using for the development of software? And so what is the value proposition of the resellers? Uh, are, are to accelerate change. Uh, we want to, as the software movement is happening across the DOD or across the federal government space, we're building out a common platform that others can build on top of. Uh, so it's a chance to jump in and say, okay, if we're modernizing our software, let's move to a common core set of tools so that our tool sets, our information is interoperable with other organizations. You are building on top of a stack that has been pen tested by some of the best organizations inside of government, right? We have the best pen testers taking a look at Big Bang. How do we improve the security behind that? Uh, it provides a common baseline 
for a lot of these organizations to work off of. Uh, we've open source Big Bang, and so we're going to have the continued improvement as there's a change that happens for one organization. We do deployments every two weeks for Big Bang, and so you can ingest that change as well. And so we're no longer building one-off solutions. We're building something that is a common core other organizations can build off of. Uh, it's about the compliance pieces. Uh, if you want to speed up your path to getting an authority to operate or a continuous authority to operate, uh, this gives you a tool set that is matching a lot of the risk management framework controls. Uh, and it helps speed up your deployment of that as we've, you're inheriting a lot of that um, the work that has been done by our team to address those risk management framework pieces. Um, you are going to be working with us on, hey, as we update things, as the pathways change for like, hey, the DevSecOps modernization uh, DOD strategy, right? We're, we're tracking that information. We're doing our jobs on the security and the monitoring pieces. And you're gonna be working with six companies that know how to, or one of those six companies that know how to execute in this space. Um, it's the efficiency, right? I mentioned these six companies have uh, worked with Platform One in some way. We've validated, uh, we've already gone through a con down select contracting process to say that, hey, these six companies are technically capable of deploying this platform for your organization. So this gives you a, a reason to say, hey, we know that these companies can deploy the software for us and stand up our factory, uh, software factory. And you have a partnership that's pre-vetted and a pathway for these companies that as you're making changes and improvements to your software baseline, uh, that you can work back with this team and that those changes will be made back upstream to the Big Bang Core side as well. We have a contract vehicle in place, in place uh, with the basic ordering agreements. Uh, we have our DevSecOps services, BOA, who have identified this six resellers. And if your organization is looking to put these companies on contract, we can help guide you on a pathway to get these companies on contract within under 30 days. Uh, we've done this before through our basic ordering agreements and would love to help other organizations do that as well and help you build out hey, what your requirements are. We have some templates and other pieces that we can do that. And again, this last piece here is the experienced contractors. Uh, so instead of an organization coming to platform one and saying, hey, platform one, can you build this for us? Uh, we give you access to contractors that'll be building this directly for you. And this way that, hey, you know, your priorities for your mission set are going to be taken care of. You can manage that uptime and allows platform one to stay focused on the governance and policy and improvement of the baseline. And you get to work with our amazing set of six contractors going through this space. So if you're ever interested in engaging with Platform One or any of our resellers, uh, we encourage you to reach out to us. Um, you can reach out to me, Joey Aurora. Uh, we have a team that's focused on commercialization. Our CCTI partners at Catalyst Campus team uh, will be providing that contact information as we send out the slides and other information. We want to help government organizations build their own DevSecOps environment. We would love to work with, have you work with our six resellers to go out and do that for your organization. And so reach out to us, we have Catalyst Campus, directly at Platform One, and would love to help guide you through, hey, what does this process look like? And who can you work with to make that happen? So I'll stop there, uh, jump in for any questions or, or comments and uh, happy to answer. Go from there, I see something in chat. Uh, Ashton, thanks for posting the list uh, on the reseller process. I appreciate it, appreciate it. Of course. We got a, Sorry. Got a question in. Um, play for companies other than the six to become a reseller. Uh, at this time, uh, we are, uh, there's not an open pathway or a contract pathway for that. We've done the down select previously, uh, you know, potentially looking at within six months uh, or a year from now to, hey, what are the other opportunities for other companies to be a reseller? Uh, our focus and goal right now is on uh, this pilot process and building that contract pathways and vehicles to go through. Uh, and as we learn more, we'll look at other opportunities for opening up the pathway for resellers or evaluating that. Jason, thanks for your comment. Appreciate that. What other questions do you have? Paul, uh, you asked, is it possible for to get the slides for this presentation? Yeah, we will be sharing them at the end of our uh, event and we'll be sending them out.
uh, if you guys, if you, I encourage you uh, to use the Q&A function. It's really helpful in managing the Q&A. Uh, I'll be answering questions on the Q&A side first, and then if we can follow on and chat, I would appreciate that. And yes, the recording will also be shared out with the, uh, so thanks, Matt. Uh, we've got a question, uh, what will the role of the reseller play in getting a continuous ATO? Uh, so our whole goal is that the reseller is an integral part of that continuous ATO process. They're going to be deploying this DevSecOps environment for that government stakeholder. And you know they're going to they understand where the controls are at, how the environment needs to be built. And they'll be partnering with that government organization and their approving official and requesting and getting an ATO. Uh, and specifically around the continuous ATO process, leveraging the lessons uh, learned from how we've deployed the software previously and uh, working with the big bank team about how they deploy that. All right, don't have any other questions in the Q&A section. Please submit them there if you have anything. Uh, going back in the chat. All right, got one real quick in Q&A. How does licensing work between a reseller and a company that has a commercial product or tools within Iron Bank? Uh, so Gary, that's a great question, right? So if you are a commercial company that is submitting for a tool within Iron Bank, all right, that agreement is gonna be between the reseller and the commercial company. Right? So right now, Iron Bank doesn't have a pathway for you to, um, if you are downloading from the open repository in Iron Bank, right? We're not tracking where that's downloaded. Uh, we would love for you to set up uh, your own license keys or any own tools. Uh, so that way, if it's downloaded uh, through our open repository, uh, that way you can manage, hey, who gets a license key or pieces there. It's a feature request that we're looking at in our backlog for the future development of Iron Bank. And so uh, as, if you are looking to have your software submitted through a reseller into the Iron Bank process, I've worked with one of our six amazing six resellers on the agreement there of um, licensing. Another question here in Q&A, can resellers work with partners that can then re-resell? Re, re um, are you, in this case, are you looking to say, hey, you have a specific software product tool that might be helpful for the DevSecOps platform, you know, in that case, you're more than welcome to engage with our six resellers and, and you know, they can make that decision on if that's a beneficial part of their offering as they're engaging with uh, their potential customers. If that didn't answer your question, um, feel free to jump in and ask some more. Jared, you asked, does the ordering agreement cover a big bang based software factory, big bang based mission application enclaves or both? Uh, so the uh, BOA allows for flexibility around that whole process. Uh, so we want to stand up that whole set of pipelines to uh, take Big Bang from initial setup to running your mission applications. And so our whole goal is to work with that government customer or commercial uh, stakeholder in helping develop out that statement of work and speed up that path to acquisition. And so we'll work with them on developing uh, those requirements as we go from there. Got a question asking, is there anything preventing companies from using the open source libraries on GitHub instead of going through a reseller? Uh, there's not anything preventing them, but the advantage of using a reseller is that we have that direct connection with platform one and that support of these companies that are, hey, if they're building out Big Bang, they have the ability to reach back to platform one for any changes, uh, if there are any submissions we wanna take on the future direction for the platform, they're prioritizing the the code changes that we want to make for the future of Big Bang. And if you're just downloading open source uh, Big Bang, you don't have that access to engage back with Platform One. Uh, it's also about the efficiency and speed to contracting, the technical expertise, and the fact that these resellers have been validated as a uh, organization that's going to be working with for, for the future success of Platform One. Got a question, is the only way to get a container on Iron Bank through resellers? Uh, no, so you can go to the p1.dso.mil site and uh, learn more about our onboarding process for Iron Bank. Another question, does working directly with a reseller provide a pathway for industry to join the platform one marketplace? 
Uh, so if you are, you know, that is a pathway. If you want to work with a platform one reseller, uh, it gives you a way to say, hey, we're part of the platform one. You're submitting part of the platform one ecosystem. Maybe you get on contract, all right? The core tool set that platform one has created uh, or something that we will continuously look at open source opportunities and potentially alternative opportunities uh, for, hey, what are the best tool sets that are out there for software development? All right, just reading through a couple of the questions here. So give me a second as we're going through that. Will the reseller stand up a complete software factory with static code scanning, dependency checking, DAS, uh, container scanning, code, quality scanning, et cetera. The reseller can absolutely stand up um, you know, whatever is required. Right? The amazing thing of our six resellers is that they're extremely capable. So our whole goal is to position them in a place that, hey, whatever that government software factory or commercial organization wants, uh, our resellers are poised to do so. Now, obviously, out of the six resellers, different ones will have different strengths and weaknesses. And that's part of having this conversation of what are your requirements? What do you need, right? Do you need a software factory complete with all of the things that you mentioned? Do you need something a little bit different? Uh, our resellers are capable of doing all of that. But another question is an issue I've had trying to understand the technical stuff within Big Bang is that there's no documentation on how to set up the runtime. If for instance, we wanted to test locally, any chances of help on that? Thanks in advance. Uh, so thank you for asking. Uh, so we're doing our best to make more documentation available about Big Bang. Uh, so take a look on GitHub, take a look on the platform one site, p1.dso.mil. And then uh, our whole goal is for uh, to make that, to make some more information available, make it easier. Uh, the advantage of you know, leveraging a reseller is that they're able to, they have deep understanding in all of these places and can help run and execute some of that for an organization. Will a reseller be able to run Big Bang on AWS EKS? Uh, I will let the reseller speak to that, but I'm pretty sure we've done this uh, already multiple times in platform one. And so if we, you know, we want to run this on, on an edge environment um, where we can do so, and I'm pretty sure we've run it on an AWS EKS as well. All right. We've answered all of the questions in Q&A. Feel free to jump into Q&A if you have any further questions. Uh, post your questions there and uh, I'll happily answer them. We'll give it a couple minutes for people to submit. Uh, in the meantime, I just want to say thank you to the resellers for leaning in with us on this experiment of, hey, what does the reseller process look like? And for the government organizations that are going through with us to put out contracts uh, as well. Uh, so we got a question is what training is available for P1? Uh, so uh, if you could please expand on that, like what kinds of things are you asking in that specifically? Uh, so we don't have any training that like modules that say, hey, this is how you leverage uh, our tool sets today. Uh, our whole focus and goal is to work with government organizations or people that want to deploy our software. And uh, we're able to help answer some general questions, help provide some guidance. Uh, we don't have a sort of software um, tool set that guides you through that. Uh, our great partners at Catalyst are building out a software dojo uh, so that we can help provide more of that training and you can go deploy Big Bang in that environment and learn more about what ML AI tools are out there, learn about containerization, Kubernetes, so if you're looking for that kind of general education, I'm happy to get you connected with the right folks to do that. Um, if you're looking at, hey, what information is available about DevSecOps and that movement, uh, happy to discuss that as well. All right, going once for any questions. Oh, got one. With respect to the software factory, will there be some sort of dashboard that consolidates security findings, vulnerabilities from all the different scanners? If not, how will these be viewed? Uh, so that uh, our security process and deployment per that software factory, um, right? Are you looking, it depends on if you're looking at the application layer or you're looking at the configuration layer, right? We have different ways that we can address that. 
And that's something that, hey, as you're building out your software factory, is something that you can work with your reseller on developing out, hey, what your requirements and needs are. Um, part of deploying Big Bang is that, hey, we're going to be providing those updates and those change requests on a consistent basis. And if we have any major security vulnerabilities, uh, we will be making sure that, hey, we are uh, updating those as quickly as required if it needs to be faster than our two-week update cycle. All right, going twice for questions. Where can we see a platform one satisfies controls for RMF for an ATO? Uh, so that is information that we share with other government stakeholders and with our resellers. Uh, so if you are interested in engaging with us on that process, uh, we're um, happy to talk to you about it. Uh, your question came through as anonymous. So I don't, um, if you're part of a government organization or a commercial entity, happy to answer that question, feel free to shoot us a message and we can uh, talk in further detail about that. Got a, another question. Will the new DOD continuous ATO memo affect any of the current Platform One continuous ATO processes? Uh, so we've seen that memo. Uh, you know, a lot of the tools that we've created uh, have been based off of the DevSecOps reference architecture and our whole process has been based off of that. And so you know, we're in compliance with where that is headed. And as any changes are needed, we'll make updates on the back end of Big Bank and push that out. Um, we, our ATO, our continuous ATO will stand and will continue going down that pathway. And as you know, we're gonna continue improving the amount of controls that Big Bang maps to, uh, to enable, hey, what are your options to get to the continuous ATO as other organizations are deploying? Uh, so our ATO process is it's good to go based off of even that the latest memo, and we're going to continue improving. It's a short answer to that question. All right, going against for any any questions. I want to thank everyone for taking the time to engage uh, here as well. Uh, so as you're looking at your different government organizations, looking at setting up your own software factories, uh, we want to make Big Bang available to you to go out and um, build out different opportunities and different tool sets and make a bigger movement in the DevSecOps space. So thank you for taking the time. Appreciate it. Thank you much, so much, Joey, for um, sharing all this information with us and taking the time um, to share out what is a Platform One reseller. And I want to thank you, everyone uh, who, who are participants and all your wonderful questions for Jeremy, or sorry, for Joey. <laughs> Um, and uh, I want to let you know that our next uh, webinar is going to be for, um, it's going to be held on Thursday, the, the 10th of March at 10 a.m. Mountain Time, and it's going to be what is a Platform One Big Bang and who should use it. So um, we would love for you to attend. We'll send out some reminders um, to those who are participants today and let you know um, how to register for that. So once again, thank you so much to Joey um, and, and the team um, for, for hosting this webinar today. Appreciate it. Have a good day. Bye.